Did you know that lemon trees are evergreen and can produce fruit all year long? And that it was Christopher Columbus who first brought lemons to the Americas. You'll learn what that's all about, the history of lemons, and so much more in this episode of What Am I Even Eating? Like other citrus, lemons are technically a berry. Other berries include avocados, bananas, cucumbers, and grapes. And while mostly yellow, lemons can also be green or even green and yellow striped, depending on the variety. Some have a pinkish flesh, like grapefruit. Some look otherworldly, and some are ribbed for your pleasure. At first, lemons were not widely cultivated for food. They were ornamental, like tomatoes. Their origin story is a little fuzzy, but science and the genomic sequencing suggest that lemons descended from a single ancestor some 8 million years ago. Native to the Himalayas, this baby mama resembles a modern-day papeta. And from this ancient Asian ancestor came 10 other wild fruit trees, including pomelos, mandarins, and kumquats, and some of which are no longer with us today. Lemons, along with oranges, grapefruits, and limes, and all other citrus are hybrids derived from these 10 trees. And that genomic study also found that lemons are crossed between bitter oranges and citron. By 200 AD, lemons had reached southern Italy, and by 700 AD, they were being cultivated in Persia, what is now modern-day Iran, Iraq, and Egypt. Sometime around the 10th century, Arab traders began distributing lemons around the Mediterranean, and their widespread popularity is kind of how they got their name. Lemons were first called lemons in the late 1400s. The word is based on the old French word, limon, suggesting that lemons came to England from France. Limon derives from the Italian word, which also is limon, but with an E on the end, which drew its inspiration from the Arabic word lemon and the Persian word lemon. There you go. By the 15th century, the lemon had swung into full culinary use, and farmers began the first major crop of lemon trees around Genoa, Italy. And thank God, because as you know, lemons have many uses. The juice is obviously used in everything from beverages to marinades, but the peel can be made into recipes like lemon pepper. Oils are used in fragrances, cleaners, and more. The leaves are even used in teas. There's so many uses for lemons. Limoncello, which originated in Sicily around 1900, is a popular way to use up those peels and fight food waste. So be sure to check out my video on homemade lemon pepper. You can also use them as a natural degreaser for your oven. Add lemons to water to an oven safe dish and bake it at 350 degrees until the water boils. Turn off the heat. After the steam settles, wipe down the inside. Boom, natural cleaner. Eventually, lemons made their way to the US. Christopher Columbus brought them to the New World when he planted lemon seeds on the island of Hispaniola in 1493, one of the first European settlements in the Americas. Of course, he also brought slavery, massacre, and disease for the island's indigenous people, the Tainos. Yay, humans, yay. Subsequent Spanish conquests throughout the New World helped spread lemon seeds even further still. And by the 19th century, lemon trees were being planted regularly both in Florida and in California. By the 1890s, Florida was the leader in citrus, with around 3 million trees in cultivation. However, a bad freeze in December of 1894 destroyed that year's crop and damaged many trees. The first of a one-two punch as the following February, the region was hit again, destroying many of the already weakened trees. This, what has been coined the Great Freeze, set the state's citrus industry back 10 years. California already had a modest lemon industry in the state's southern region, with around 62,000 trees in cultivation at the time. California stepped up and rapidly expanded its lemon groves, which was up to 800,000 trees by 1901 and led the state's second gold rush, making it a leader in fresh citrus. But this did displace other commodities growing in the region. Find out how lemons bumped walnuts from SoCal to the Central Valley in my video on the history of walnuts. There are countless varieties of lemons grown throughout the world, with Argentina, Chile, India, Mexico, and of course the U.S. being significant producers. California grows 93% of all U.S. lemons and 80% of all U.S. grown fresh citrus, for that matter. I mean, we do grow over 50% of the nation's fresh produce, so hashtag humble brag and all that. In California, there are three major districts when it comes to citrus farms. District 1 is the Central Valley, which is the largest area in more than half of the state's citrus production 
and one of the primary regions for navel oranges, but Valencias are also grown there along with lemons and grapefruits. Over half of the state's tangerines also come from this area. District 2 is the coastal region and the major producer of lemons. Oranges from this area are primarily Valencia. Lastly, District 3, the desert region, which is the primary location for grapefruit production, but also has lemon farms. It takes about 77 gallons of water to produce just one pound of lemons, and a full acre needs over 1.3 million gallons every growing season. So use the juice, use the peel, use it all. Over 40% of all U.S. produced food goes to the bin, simply thrown away. And food waste accounts for 8% of all greenhouse gases globally. You can do your part to fight food waste by eating what I like to call root to leaf. Eat it all. Make some limoncello. In California, the most common lemon variety grown is the Eureka lemon, also known as the Four Seasons lemon, for its ability to produce both fruit and flowers throughout the year. We also grow Lisbon and Meyer lemons. Trees are planted late winter to early spring. This happens after the trees are grafted. That's when the above ground fruit producing part of the lemon tree is joined with a root stock, which is the below ground part. The above ground part called the scion is chosen for the variety of lemon it produces. And the below ground part is selected for its hardiness. It can take lemon trees up to three years to produce fruit and up to five years to produce a full crop. And they can continue to produce fruit until they die. The lifespan of an average lemon tree is about 50 years, but they can live up to 100 or even longer. Lemon trees are evergreen. Flowering generally occurs during the spring. Fruit then develops over the summer and can take up to six months or even up to a year to fully ripen. It's this extended ripening period is why they can have fruit and flowers on the same tree at the same time. Lemon trees can be pretty prickly and the lemons must be harvested by hand. So let's take a moment to thank the skilled labor that makes this happen. Depending on how they grow and where they are grown, lemons are harvested at different times. In the Central Valley region, District 1, lemons are picked from October through June. In the coastal region, District 2, they are harvested year round. And in District 3, the desert region, they are picked from August through January. And while lemons look great on a bowl on the counter, it's the worst way to store them. Keep them in a loosely closed bag in the fridge. Stored this way, I've had my fresh lemons last up to six months. And this works for limes, grapefruits, and oranges. And that's how lemons got from India to California to you.